the second word he gave me. Chuck. This one was recent, with just a few weeks ago. I did a couple of posts on it. And <laughs> haven't said a lot about it, but he said, I keep hearing the phrase, there will be a return to Gilgal. And I said, well, what does that mean? He said, I don't know. <laughs> the Lord will tell you. And so, you know, I've been thinking about it, been praying into it. Gilgal was, a, was an important place in the life of Israel under Joshua's leadership and the first few chapters of uh, Joshua. It was when they crossed over the Jordan and began the, the taking of the land, it was, um, it, was, it was there at a place called Gilgal where they, when they crossed, they set up camp, and that became headquarters for several years. The camp, the warfare campaign to take the land took place from Gilgal. Gilgal means the place of rolling. Some people think it means that because when they crossed there, God rolled back the Jordan River, so they named the place Gilgal Rolling, but that's not why it's named Gilgal Rolling at all. That wasn't what God was referring to. In fact, the Jordan didn't roll back. The Jordan stopped 20 miles upstream. So the, <clears throat> the picture of the crossing is significant. Let me just back up a little bit. Because when they crossed the Jordan there, it was a picture of the cross. So God... In order to picture, if you read the passage, I don't want to take the time to do it, but the Jordan flowed down from the north through the Arabah, which means wilderness, which means barrenness, which means desert or dry or barren place. It symbolizes us before the cross, what happened at the fall, the desert, the wilderness, and it empties into the Dead Sea. So the sterility and barrenness of spiritual death that feeds the Dead Sea of humanity, that's all pictured there. Did you get, did you, did you get that? So that's why he didn't cut the Jordan off, stop the flow just far enough upstream, a mile or so, for all these people to get across. He went up almost 20 miles upstream and cut it off at a town called Adam. Because he was picturing geographically, he's giving us, he's painting a picture. That which flowed out of Adam and brought barrenness and sterility and death and now feeds the Dead Sea of humanity, I'm going to cut that off at Adam. And I'm going to bring life. And so that was all pictured at the crossing of the Jordan. And that's why they did it at Passover. So when they reached the other side and celebrated Passover and then the, entered back into covenant with the Lord because for the whole time they wandered in the wilderness, they had not honored covenant. The, men, the males were not circumcised, which was the sign of covenant. So they had to go through a process there, a time where they re-covenanted themselves to the Lord. Another picture of the cross. And after that, they named the place Gilgal and set up camp there. Now, Gilgal means rolling because the Lord says, there I rolled off of you the reproach of Egypt. That's why it's called Gilgal. I rolled off of you the reproach of your slavery. Your, put it all back into symbolism of salvation. I rolled off of you the reproach of the barrenness, the sin, the sterility flowing from Adam into the... 
down this river and feeding into the Dead Sea of Humanity. I wrote all that off of you, and you're a picture of it again because you, are, you were slaves to another people, and like we were slaves to sin, but I cut all that off, and now you're no longer slaves. So name the place, Gilgal, where I rolled off of you the reproach. Pretty good, huh? So they camped there for a few years. The, the campaign to take uh, the land of Canaan was several years. Even though you can read the book of Joshua in a short time. And I feel like the Lord had them camp there. Because one of the things he was doing was changing their mindset. Because every time they mentioned home, they were saying, after this battle, we're going back to... We're going back to where the reproach is lifted, rolled off of us. Because God is reprogramming them, reprogramming them to, to, to stop thinking like slaves. And those that have no desti destiny and are under the control of a foreign force. I want you to begin to think differently as a covenant people that represent me in the earth that can do anything I ask you to do. So i got to get that mindset off of you of defeat of slavery, that giant, where we're no match for giants, we're no match for Pharaoh, that, that group that wanted to go back to Egypt, <coughs> intimidated by all of rather be slaves than fight a battle. I'm going to get all that off of you, and I'm going to make you live at a place and call it a thousand times the reproach is rolled off of us. We're not under that stuff anymore. So there's a lot of symbolism that, I, that, that I'm not going into where Gilgal is concerned. But if there is a return to Gilgal, it is just one more word from the Lord to me and to, I believe, to, to the nation, that God is going to roll this reproach off of us. We are going to experience another wave of the cross. Of the cutting off of the flooded river of death. That river was flooded when they went across. Mile wide. God is going to do something to bring life and roll all that back and deliver us from the reproach. And if you don't I mean, you, 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 if, if you're here, you know uh, we, America is under a horrible reproach. We, we, we're the laughing stock of the world, which is heartbreaking, but I believe it's just kind of necessary to humble us. <laughs> 